Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. Hope you are all okay and I've had a good week this week. Uh, seems heatwave number two is coming back to the UK as of yesterday, Friday. It's lovely and sunny outside today. So I have sat and enjoyed my garden for a little bit this afternoon, which is nice. So, let's get to it first. Excuse me, I've just gone up, come back up the stairs and now I'm like, oh, out of breath. Um, I'm not unfit, it's just my asthma. Um, Toft birthday update, went live on Thursday. Um, so it's gone live on their website on Thursday and then Toft were on Create and Craft at 11 o'clock on Friday. So there is a free pattern. Um, you don't need to make any purchases to get that. Um, I'll try and put a link um, in the video description for you. It is for a donut. As it's their 16th birthday, they are going with the sweet 16 theme. So you get a free donut pattern. And that's just the actual, I keep going like this because donut, they're putting eyes on it. So the donut face, let's call it the actual ring donut. Um, so they've got 16% off of their website uh, until next week. So I'm assuming it was a week long. So until this Thursday coming. Um, so if you want to order anything, I think there are a few items that have been found that are 50% off, like for example, the Toft Cork notebook, I think it's down to five pounds from 10. Um, so just have a hunt around if there was anything um, particularly you were looking for. Toft, this is the only time Toft do a sale uh, once a year on their birthday. They don't ever do money off um, any other time of the year. They might give free patches, free patterns, etc. Um, but they don't do money off um, any other time. So if there was something you were keeping your eye on and you wanted to save a bit, um, then have a look. It is obviously free postage over £50. I'm not sponsored by Toft, by the way. <laughs> this really sounds like I'm sponsored by them. Um, if you spend over £50, you get free UK delivery. Um, obviously, sorry, I don't know rest of the world delivery prices and if they deduct or reduce it for a certain order. But And then Crate and Craft had their bundles mainly. It did seem to be mainly quite large bundles on Crate and Craft. There were an odd few smaller kits. Um, I think like Rachel the Bedlington Terrier that came with a patch. I think there was a Bryce the Shark. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones there were. Oh, Emma the Bunny and Bridget the Elephant. So some of those older patches that are a bit more difficult to get hold of, um, they have done those with kits on Create and Craft. If you order from Create and Craft, you get a donut monster pattern. So one would assume it's the free donut that's on top, but then also the monster body as well. And it's a postcard pattern um, with somebody has the chance to win the whole, a whole donut monster kit. Um, they haven't released a donut monster kit so whatever that entails we don't know so if you win that let us know uh but yeah they did seem to be the big bundles they did um a 16 mini bundle of mini creatures they did i think 16 dogs and then flat a flower monster bundle but they were all sort of i think the cheapest bundle with creating club membership discount ended up £144 plus postage I believe I don't think there was apart from the individual single kits um, and nothing particularly exclusive except for you got the donut monster pattern um, I didn't purchase anything at the moment I've got plenty of toft yarn I've actually got too much I was trying to de-stash some um, of the more neutral colours I don't use um, but yeah I didn't purchase anything at the moment I'm still I need to go back to my delphinium um i've had something else arrive that i'll show you that i'm working on um for wee woolies but um yeah i need to get back to my delphinium i've also got a daffodil and poinsettia to make flower monster wise that i would like to do plus it's august now so the next flora society installment I believe should be this month I'm not sure when during this month but at some point um so then we're going to be behind again I was trying to catch up by getting my delphinium done, um, but failing miserably. Anyway, so yes, I had finished my tester kit for Wee Woolies when I um, videoed on Monday, and um, I've now done my write up for Lisa, so that's all gone off. So she has got that back ready to start the ordering process for that to be revealed. 
Um, but what Lisa has done is sent me art. Well, she asked me first. She, she doesn't just send these things without asking. We've got another bag. This is not a tester kit. I can show you this because this has already been released. But I just thought you might be interested to see. So, I think my other pattern's downstairs because I'm working at the moment. So what Lisa needs is she's she's partnering with Star. Well, she uses Star or Craft Yarn. Um, they've now started to source her patterns and put them into their Stylecraft yarn stockists. So if your local craft shop stocks Stylecraft, they may have some of Lisa, Lisa's pattern booklets um, as opposed to buying them as kit. Um, Lisa does do these on her website as pattern books, so you don't have to buy a kit. Um, if you'd like to use an alternative yarn, uh, size up, size down, use a hand dye, she does sell the pattern booklets. Um, I think she does them as PDF as well. Um, but what Lisa needs, I think she's going to a trade fair, I think maybe, with Starcraft in September. Um, but I think she needs, because um, some of the kits originally, I think she used Drops Nepal or Drops Yarn. Um, so I think she needs a remake of some of her older uh, patterns, etc. All in the Starcraft yarn, obviously, because if she's partnering with Starcraft now. So she asked me to make up, I'm doing a baby unicorn and a full size unicorn. Both of these patterns can be found online. I will link. Um, so she has asked me to make up body parts. So I'm going to be making up body parts. Um, I do need to weigh as well. So I've got a little table to fill in. Um, so you weigh your yarn before and after. And the same with the stuffing. Um, so I just need to make up all the relevant body parts and send them off to send them back to Lisa when they're done. Um, so it's not a case of me um, testing the pattern. This has already been tested. I didn't do this unicorn one. I didn't. I wasn't a tester at that time. Um, so yeah, making them up, um, all the little individual pieces, and then posting them back to Lisa. So I think she can make up or do videos etc. with them. So yeah. So that's what I'm working on now. So I've got a bag of yarn here. So. I've just started, I'm doing the full size unicorn first. Um, I don't think it's in here actually, I think it might be downstairs. Oh no, it is in here. Stuffing. Um, we have a body done, full size body. Looks like a 10 pin bowling pin. Um, so we had two, yeah, two, two Stylecraft uh, chunky white. And then I've got a ball of pink as well. I think it's called Rose or something along those lines. Um, fondant it's called actually i had to write it down it's called fondant so i've just started doing um the hoof of one of the uh arms or legs so that's what we're doing at the moment so i do need to get that done asap for lisa because as i say i think it's september she might need them for so she's on holiday at the moment um so i'm going to get those made up now and done off my list so that i can post them back to her um and then i can carry on with my delphinium so yes, so it's nice. It's it's lovely to be asked. Um, and I did get a little sneaky special from Lisa. She's very naughty um, as a thank you, which I can't share with you. <laughs> the little perks of being a tester. I do like it. Get to see, get to be a little bit nosy beforehand. Um, and yes, she sent me something that um, I can't share yet, but as a thank you, which is lovely. So she doesn't have to. I quite enjoy being able to help out and learning how the inner workings of a crochet business works really so that's that then the yarn delivery that i stupidly thought was going to come on monday hence holding off my video came on tuesday but i actually only ordered it friday night so why i thought it was going to be here by monday i forget um was a woolly mama's order so woolly mama's had a sale and i did purchase um so originally i'll show you what i've purchased and then i'll show you if you can hear the rustling there so this first one i've gone let me take it out of my bag actually let me rustle even more for you it's annoying isn't it can you hear me over the rustling right um so this one is called palm springs so it is a dk yarn because it's me i think i'm just going to say now i'm not going to bother mentioning that it's dk because you know me by now hopefully um, so that has arrived, Palm Springs, which is very nice. Got some cool, like, oh, cool lime. Is that really a can lime be cool? Yeah, lime colours, orangey. So it's very sort of el tropical, 
El Tropicana. No, that's the orange juice. You know what I mean. So that's that one that I, I took a fancy to and I thought I'd grab that. So in the sale. And I think I mentioned to you, I got myself the Summer Gradient Pack again. Excuse the rustling. So I had already purchased this um, when I saw um, Woolly Mama's post, um, a shawl they'd made out of it. Um, so I had already bought a set and so I purchased another one in the sale. Um, so these are 50 grams each in here. So I've got 250 grams of yarn and I think it was £45 before sale price and I think it was like 32 after sale price. So if you, I mean, roughly skeins of yarn tend to be between 16 and 18 pounds for hand dye. So if I bought two skeins, 200 grams, that would have been about 32 pounds, but I got 250 for 32. So that is what I purchased. So this was the pack that I have just received. And this was my original pack. So I don't know, they're probably not from the same dye lot. Um, it's possible that they've been done again and that is always the way with if you order um, hand dye unless you're purchasing them all at the same time they could be from a different dye lot I'm not sure I don't know if it's just my eyes playing tricks or the way that they are wound but I feel like these are a little bit brighter and these are a little bit more pastel what do you think I feel like this is slightly more pastel than this and I mean, I'm not bothered because, you know, that's absolutely fine because I've got 250 grams in each and 250 should be enough to make a shawl that I want to make. So actually I'll have enough for two of the same shawl or make somebody else one um, or make something different. But yeah, I wasn't sure if they were, I didn't know if it was my eyes. So I'm asking you. So we're going to call this one A and this one B. So A is the old, older one, let's call it. B is the newer one answers on a postcard which is bright like do they match do a and b match or is a more passively and b brighter there is my question of the weekend for you so yes um i have to say um on monday i kept calling the uh tina shaw lakira i think that's because i saw somebody else make the same mistake it's called the korea k-r-i-a um because i went back to have a little look at it in my patterns that i downloaded and it's a career so apologies if you were looking at, i think i linked it you to the right place i think that's when i discovered it i realized when i was trying to link the video for you that the put the link on the video that it's called the korea not the kira sorry we call that what's it freudian slip freudian slip um but yes, yeah, so at the moment I'm busy making all my bits and pieces, my dismembered body parts of a u two unicorns um, to send back to Lisa. And then I'm going to crack back on with my delphinium. Um, I am waiting to see. I don't know when, I can't recall when Toft do their Christmas update. I've got a feeling it's after the summer once they've done their summer competition. Because I'm waiting for John Lewis to get the Christmas stock in so I can use my John Lewis voucher from when I left my old job um but yeah otherwise siobhan has an update tomorrow morning uh so what are we today saturday the 6th of august so sunday the 7th at 10 a.m it will be uk time uh i don't know if we're in gmt now because we're in british summertime bst um so she will do a preview on instagram live tonight normally about seven o'clock and it normally goes on to a, a reels recorded so um maybe have a look on there if you can't watch it at the time or you wish to fast forward i do sometimes do that through like roving and, and things like that and bats because it's not something that um i would purchase so yes so maybe check that out t tonight and tomorrow in case there's anything you want because as per usual you need to get in there super quick um I shouldn't be buying anything and I'm hopefully not going to be tempted. I will still watch the update regardless because a couple of my friends will as well and probably want to purchase. But I possibly won't watch it live um, depending on what time I get the dinner ready. Um, but that's about it really this week. Um, I have been eyeing up 
tulip etimo hooks after um, a lady called Charlotte recommended them to me at the Kew Gardens workshop. Um, I purchased, I think I showed you the 3.5 mil from Wool Warehouse. So I've been eyeing those up and also I contacted Like this week. It's L-Y-K-K-E um, and they are the makers of, if you saw my uh, wooden swift that I use to cake um, and I yarn, it's the, the wooden one that I purchased at Unravel, um, treated myself to. They also do a wool, um, a wooden wool winder, so the actual part that the the ball starts to appear on, because um, I'm currently using a Knit Pro plastic one, which is absolutely fine, it's done me no problem, but I noticed the wooden ones are basically pretty silent. Um, the wire, the swift goes around really quietly. Um, so in terms of if I ever want to wind wool while hubby and I are watching TV, I can't because the plastic wool winder is making a noise. Um, plus, I've got to have a matching set, no? Um, so I want the mango wood um, ball winder. It is £90. Um, I have seen somewhere that would sell them for 81 but they haven't been in stock. Um, and I was worried because everywhere is out of stock of them. So I did message like to say, are you discontinuing? Is this no longer coming out? They did message me back and they did say in the next couple of weeks, stock should be back out again. Um, so whether it's been a during COVID stock issue, wood issue, don't know. Um, but it should be back out in the next week or two. I did find a site that had one for pre-order and then I left it for like half an hour and it was gone. So I'm going to keep looking and keep refreshing, but I want the mango wood version because there is a mango and a dark wood um, and on that OCD I want them to both be mango match. Um, so I'm on the hunt for one of those. So if you happen to spot one, send me a message and a link. Um, I'm desperately trying to find one on pre-order if I can or one that's already in stock. Um, but yeah, I mean, £90, I assume, is the RRP because that's where most places are selling them for. But um, if I can get one for maybe 81 save a little bit of money. Uh, but the Tulip Etimo hooks, I think they're between about 79 and 99 depending on where you buy them. Um, I found a website that I think they're £78, um, for the full set of 10 and a case and some snips and what have you. So I might do that. So it might not be a yarn haul next week. It might be a accessories haul, let's say. Um, but it won't be the, the wool winder yet. I think I've got to wait a while for that. But yes, so check out Toft for the 16% off if you're a Tofty. Check out Create and Craft in case there's a bundle you'd quite like to get instead. Um, if you're a Create and Craft member, because obviously you get money off. Um, and Chevron's update tomorrow. Um, I think Wee Woolies might still be having their sale, so I'll check it out and if they are, I'll pop you the link. Um, it's probably a case of a sale until the stock is gone. Maybe it's uh, clear the decks and do some different colourways. So um, have a look, check it out. And I believe uh, when I looked yesterday, there were still some Toft Advent calendars left. Um, it was about 60 odd because we'd been working out that if you tried to add, let's say, 100 to your basket, it would tell you how many were left in stock. So I think at the last count was 67 left. Um, so they are down to their final, they say under 20%. So it sounds like they did roughly 500 units, um, which is still a lot to pack individually. But if you're still interested in a Toft Advent calendar, I think as of yesterday, they were still available. So get over there, sharpish. But yes, that is it from me this week. Apologies, waffling again. I say sorry every time and all of you keep saying we love you watching your videos so I should stop apologizing sorry <laughs> um so yeah try and keep cool if you're in the UK I've closed my window to do this video so you don't hear the either the seagulls or the um you know people out and about let's just say um so yes have a good week and I will catch you next time take care see you soon bye